Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sleepy, and welcome back to Home Sweet Home, episode 2. I don't actually know if I said that on the start of the last episode. Well, I know I said that already as well. Last time, or the time before that. So, we are going to take a read... Oops, sorry. Note from the novice. You're not supposed to be here. You can't change fate's design. Neither can Jane. Trust me. Go back to her realm and put everything that has happened to rest. Wait, is this like a choice? Oh no. Oh, it's you again, mister. Oh. Just stock up on those. So is this like a choice? I mean, thus far the game was, was pretty linear. Thank you very much for the nails, mister. Oh no, it's this. I can't read this. I stab something. Hello. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No well. Look at what happened. Oh no. I shouldn't go this way. I know that. Is this Jane? Jane! So this is linear. Don't go in there. It's dangerous. Jane, come back. We need to talk. Jane. Oh my god. So since there's a giant dude walking around this forest, Spirit, I guess. Kaka, kaka. I can do that too. Oh boy, this will be bad. Oh, hello, Jane. She, she's just standing there. Can I go in here? Be pretty much better than to follow. Oh, I can't. Nice little part to explore with the jump scare. Okay, I'm not scared of birds. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, I should have listened to the monk. I should have listened to the monk. Singing in the dark forest makes it better. I should have listened to the monk. Jane, oh shit! Blade, come back to uh, me. No, no stop moving. Those are the Hindu. Oh fuck! You, who is? Happening? Who are you? What are you? I should say. You are impossibly stubborn. Are you the monk? You made me break a sweat. The hell are you? You do not need to know my name. No, no, I need to know your you name. You and your wife simply need to do me a favor. What favor? What favor? What favor? Oh, the good. sinner has no right to question. Your word huh. is only to serve me. Let us talk about this. Don't come any closer. Is this the, the, the boss of the last time? Uh, next thing. You. Amazing. Your wife said the exact same thing. Take the nail. What the hell? What are you? Oh, put him down. Oh shit. Shit! Ah. Ow! Now I'm you too! Ah. Oh. Ouch. Don't tell me I have to. F oh, okay, escape. Uh, don't tell me I have to fight. Oh, how do I escape? Damn it! Just gonna run. Just gonna. Just gonna run. I'm not gonna fight this fuck. I see at some point I won't be able to run anymore. Oh, can I go back to the temple and I'm safe there? This is a very 
small chest. I mean, I would. Oh, uh, fuck you. You found me again. Well, I guess you can't just e evade supernatural powers like that, so. Mm, are those worms? <laughs> You're fucking up. That's what's happening. Stop. Okay, at least I'm back in here, so maybe I'm safe in here. Huh. Stop. He's coming closer, isn't he? Don't tell me this is not the temple grounds and the temple grounds just start over there. And I will get mowed down. I wish I could run. That would be cool. You, you hold yourself together. I'll help you. Yeah, that was a monk, right? <clears throat> okay. That's weird. Here again. I warned you. You should have left. My fingers are gone. Yeah. Who was that man? Why did he attack me? This has gone on long enough. Despite my warning... Oh, did I fuck pleading, up? You still insist on looking for your wife. So I suppose I need to tell you everything. <laughs> okay, it sounded like you were angry there for a the second. The man who attacked you? He's called Chai. Chai? My father knew him at one time. Oh, okay. Chai is an unorthodox occultist. He collects soul energies and uses them in his evil rituals. This is what we're going through, okay. So, what does that have to do with Jane and I? I believe it is karma that has drawn Chai's eye to you oh, and your unfortunate wife. I really fucked up in my previous life, apparently. I've known for quite some time that Chai was planning something. You and Jane must have something he needs for his ritual. How do I fight him? Even that special knife of yours just went right through him. And that ghost sliced through the knife so easily. And my fingers. Yep. You have to stay calm. You couldn't harm him oh. because that was just his image. The pentametal knife alone can't do anything. We need a knife forged of Nona metal to stand a chance. Okay. I just don't think we can find Nona Metal in this realm. Ooh. Then we're done. Jane and I won't make it out of here. But how do we get the There's Nona Metal? There's still hope. The ritual borders on the occult, but we don't really have another oh. choice. If we can't find actual Nona Metal, we have to make then it. we need something almost as good. Okay. If you can find a few things for me, um, what I would can it make be? a more powerful knife. Of course. I'll do anything. So, what do we need? First, go to the cemetery beyond the temple. I already tried that. There, you must retrieve a nail from the coffin of a restless corpse. Second, that's a bad idea. Collect the broken knife spine that is kept in the waterfront pavilion. Finally, get the crest of the old pagoda behind the church. What the crest church? Was once struck by lightning and is now hidden somewhere in the temple. Huh. You must find it. Fine. And if I can collect all of these things, you can really make a Nona metal knife from them. We just need those three items. I should be able to, yes. Oh, and I almost forgot. Hmm. You'll need a hearth for distillation. Don't forget to find one. Then, bring the distilled metal to me. Ooh. I'll be here. Preparing for huh. the ritual. Okay. I'll get everything. I have to. Oh, I can go uh, back now. Thank you. Find the broken pagoda crest. Find the cough. So I have... This is like a, a freeform thing where I can...
Oh no. Okay, is this this is not a church, right? Like a temple thing. What's this? A candlelight procession is a ceremony in which people walk in a circle around an object or place to show reverence and respect. How appropriately uh, how to appropriately prepare for a candlelight session a procession. Before the ceremony begins, calm yourself physically, mentally, and verbally. Prepare candles, incense, and flowers and head to a sacred place. Circle the sacred place three times. Once you pay respect to the virtues of Buddha, once for Buddha's doctrines, and once more for Buddha's followers. There are two types of candlelight processions. A circle to the right, or clockwise, typically represents a proprietor's positive event such as Buddhism Holy Day. A circle to the left, or counterclockwise, typically represents a darker event such as a funeral or an attempt to repel the occult. Ooh, what's that? Oh, this is where we forged a knife, I assume. Okay. Um, so, let's go this way first. There's a light over there. So, oh, those are white strings. Okay, let's follow them. Fuck you. I told you, fuck you. I'm not gonna put up with your shit. Oh, n oh, are you the flying head? Oh shit, you are the flying head, aren't you? Okay, I'm afraid of you. I'm not afraid of a bird, but I'm afraid of you. Oh no. So I need to f are these toilets? Oh damn it. Those are toilets. Or bathrooms, I should say. Well. Oh no, there are lights in here. I'm gonna go in here first. Can I close? No, I can't close the door. Okay. I have to admit, this game really nails its atmosphere, even though the boss fight was fucking annoying. It wasn't a bad boss, it's just annoying. And it's only annoying because you had to do this like three times before that. And I think the one, the one section with the numbers would have been enough. Oh, that's flies. Is this a coffin? Fuck you. That's immediately what I'm gonna do in, in such scenarios. I hear a weird noise and immediately I turn around, fuck you, in the face of whatever demon spawn is be behind me. Jane's Diary, May of May 13th, 2013. How many times have you stood up, uh, stood me up because you're working too much, not getting enough done, being asked to work overtime, excuses, excuses. And he thinks it's all in my head, everything I told him. Your trust. Where has it gone, Tim? I'm not okay with this house. I'm not okay with whatever it is that is in this house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop fucking around. Oh, there's a little bit of blood in there. Can I get into the coffin and die? Is this like an option? No. There lies someone in there. Oh, is this maybe the coffin? There's a nail lying around somewhere. Piss off. I hope the big dude doesn't show up, but I doubt it. So. Car, car, car. I can do the same thing. I like crow. I don't have a zoomy thing, but... Oh, oh, I can't pray anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let me go up here. And this is what I need to forge the blade. Right? Ah, okay, here. Uh, okay, so I know where this is now. Now, yeah, they nailed the atmosphere. Oh, sorry, I had to straighten out my back. I kind of have back pain the last couple of days. Because I'm sitting too much. Is there somewhere a little safe pointy thing?
Man, imagine making these things. It looks so intricate. Imagine making these things by hand. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, I'm not supposed to go here, apparently. And I won't run, because when I run, when I run now and my juice runs out, which I sometimes seemingly have, um, then I will be killed when I have to run. There's something written on there. Third precept, abstention from sexual misconduct. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. I agree with that. Yeah, shut up, wolf. I'm not afraid of wolves. In video games, at least. I would shit my pants if I would see a wolf in a forest somewhere. Like, standing five meters away from you. Oh, boy. Okay, there is something, and there is something as well. This looks like a graveyard. For some reason. Maybe because of all the weird things here. I don't know how they're called. I would call them turrets, but I guess that's wrong. Now, when I hear crying, then I can... My god. Are the wolves having an orgy over there? Is this what's happening? Ooh, there is something in here. Story from the reader from Ghost 66 magazine. Old bed. I live very close to the temple. That's how I be became close with Doom, a village mortician. Once he told me a story about a woman who came to him and asked if she could have three to four of the nails that are used to close coffins. He was surprised that she asked for such a thing. Turns out the woman had recently divorced her husband. She was still hung up on him and furious that he had remarried with a younger woman. The divorcee went to see a, a shaman who suggested, was that shy, that she should hammer the coffin nails into the header of her ex-husband's bed. It is believed that doing so would drive the couple that sleeps in the bed mad and push them apart. The powerful ritual could even result in death. It may have been true after all, as the remarried couple soon fell apart and split up. The divorcee and her ex-husband reconciled. Nobody in town thought anything of it. Soon after, though, the couple started fighting again, worse than before. After a particularly bad fight, the two shot each other. Doom was the person who had to clean up the, glory, the gory scene. The glory scene. The gory scene. When he saw the bed, he knew what had happened. The couple had been sleeping in the same bed that the woman had you had cursed. The coffin nail the coffin nails still jutted from the headbed headboard. Doom said that the scariest thing about the story was that the woman had cursed her husband, but that nobody knows what happened to that cursed bed. It was donated soon after, with the nails still stuck in it. So some advice for those who love antiques or are looking for a second hand bed. Don't forget to check the headboard. I've warned you. Oh, that was... That was me, right? My god, the wolves are going crazy in this forest. Holy shit, let me just turn that up so you can hear it a little bit better. You son of a gravedigger. Your father makes his living from the dead. What a crook. You're a slime. Stinky chai. What is that smell? Did you sleep with the grotten corpse? Oh, this is Chai's hut. Oh, he did sleep with the rotten corpse, it seems. Well. I don't want to make Chai angry. You fucked me up real bad. I'm missing two fingers now. So am I supposed to go... Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Now that's creepy for you. Oh no. Why did I come here? I'm just gonna 
Just gonna leave that. You know, I'm not gonna touch the house anymore. Just gonna turn around and get out of there. Just, mm -mm, it's not worth. It's not worth it. Oh boy. Okay, so now we go this way then. Oh, if something sprints out of that house at me. You don't even need a sound for that, just... All these, like... Feet on the ground. Go. I'm going towards the wolves. I uh, So I can't use my knife, that's good. That means I probably don't have to fight. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, what was that? Oh, fuck, what is that raccoon? Oh, fucking hell. Whatever that was, I'm afraid of that animal. Officially. No. Holy hell. Ah! A sinkhole! Cool. Oh. Don't tell me I have to run away. Oh shit, I have to. Can I nail you? Spirit. Spare this man. Oh, thank no goodness. Please, in my favor, you are free from all misery. Now rest in peace. Man, couldn't you call to call to him or something before that? Nails taken from a coffin of the restless deceased, believed to have supernatural powers. Oh, shit, man, couldn't you just... Oh, that scared me. God damn it. Couldn't you just tell him that before I came over, you know? Hit him up on Skype or Discord or whatever. My god, whatever you call your psychic connection to the dead. Fucking damn it. Well, that doesn't. That's a new sound. I don't like that. Ooh, creepy. Um. Yeah, I like these s sections way more. I hate it when I have, like, super powerful enemies that could kill you in, like, two hits. Yes, I know. I'm a wuss. I don't care. I just think it's uh, overdone. Outlast have done it. And then, like, a lot of copycats came. And again, this isn't... Uh, not again, what I'm saying. And this is not a copycat. I don't think this game is any in any way, shape, or form copying Outlast. It's a very own thing, and I think it's good. So the corpse is still going? Good. Um, it is creepy. It's just like the little annoying bits, or like the boss fight. It was fine with the saw part, but having to do this twice, now this time being able to kill her, was a little bit annoying. I should have been able to kill her back then and then saw through the, through the thing. Through the chain. That would have been better, I think, as a conclusive thing. But then again, maybe there is like a folklore like or like a, a story type deal to it for, for as why I have to do this. So wait, this was the coffin, right? Oh, those are bushes that pop in. I thought there was a giant. This is not a pagoda. This is like the the kiln thing, right? I have to find the broken knife, which is very bad, and the crest. So for the broken knife, I have to head outside again, right? Like outside the front, where the badness is, where my hand got mauled. Like, for example, I would have just made, like, a woman sit here and cry very silently. And if you come too close, you just jump scares the shit out of you. Or something like that. I'm not a horror enthusiast. Actually, I think this game is very well made. Why I'm... Um, yeah, I stopped because I thought that little thing over here, this one, that juts out out of the roof, was a person. Stuff like that, you know, subtle stuff. Like the thing with the animal that crossed the road. Um, this can go a very long way. 
I think the biggest jump scare I had was uh, on a on a game on the channel. Uh, was in the survey. I think was the game called. Oh. Really? Oh no. So I think the game was called the survey. Where was th there was just a shadow walking across the room, and that's it. Like, across the hallway. Fifth preset. Abstention from intoxication. Well, I apparently did not do that. I think this guy drank, like, I don't know what. Do I have to find the precepts? <laughs> nope. Nope. I remembered. Fuck you. Oh, thank goodness. That didn't really... I mean, it startled me, but... I forgot that you are a thing that exists. Let's go back. Let's go back. Just, just take a deep breath. <sighs> and go back. So. Oh boy. This is... Like, like this. I mean, this is the best setup. Like the giant dude that walked across over here somewhere. This is a very good scare, I think. Or to make... Um... To make a game scary, or a good way to make a game scary, because it is not loud. Because mostly jump scares only. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the right way around. I'm not gonna go <laughs> counterclockwise. Fuck that. Um, and yeah, I think this was a good way to to make that happen. To create atmosphere instead of just a lot of jump scares. This game has its fair share of jump scares, which are good. And I think they are mostly well made because they're not too loud, right? You know when, when, like a game constantly jump scares you with loud noises, it's, it annoys me more than it, more than it actually is, is scary, in the sense of scary. Yeah, could you speak later, Harry, in your weird snake tongue? I forgot how it was called. Was it called parcel? I don't know. Harry, please. N not now. Like, for example, here. Just let someone stand over here in this little nook. Like, where my nail right now is. In here. So, if you look that way, you see him. If you don't, you miss it. Period. Uh, I think a good horror game... And I think Outlast Whistleblower did that to me very, very, very good. Is if you, if you are too afraid to move forward in the game. Harry, I said later. Oh, there's another one. Thank goodness. First precept. Abstention from killing. Abstention. Oops. Abstention from killing. Sorry. Well, that's a good door. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this house. I'm gonna check every house here. Oh, is this the pagoda? Looks beautiful. I mean, for what it is, not graphically visual. I'm not talking about a graphic fidelity. Talking about the structures itself. Okay, this is a red door as well. Oh, there's one. There's another red door. Yeah, or, or like the the hidden, the, like the small thing with the uh, with Chai's house. Right where there is like you go down, you collect a letter, and when you go down a second time because you see the door is locked, there's just this hand. It's like grabbing through the through the crack and taking something. That's it. That That's a good scare in my book. Very atmospheric. And I know I'm talking in circles. I know. Just let me, okay? I'm trying to not get too anxious playing this game. Because this far, this game was very good. This and the other one. Oh, there's a kiln. No, no, no. I'm not gonna do that. Not now. I assume once I have... All the the items I have to fight. There's nothing here. Yeah, kind. I, I meant kind of like that. But let her disappear once I pass through through this. Hello. Root dick man. Is this your penis?
thank you. Oh, that's a broken knife. A broken knife spine. A broken blade spine from the large knife. Contains Nona Metal Iron. Well, hello, sir. Was that you? Oh, you're the spirit. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Hello. Like that. That was a good thing. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. What's this? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, like this. This was a good... This was a good moment with a good scare. It wasn't a jump scare necessarily. Oh, you're there now. Hello, sir. I'm gonna go into your pagoda soon. Very shortly. I didn't look at the screen. What happened? Something just disappeared. So... Hello. There he is. Hey, buddy. My shadowy friend. Okay, this is the way I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna go to the pagoda first now. <laughs> um... Yeah, up up the stairs with all the blood. Uh, that's nice. F fuck you too, mate. Fuck you too. Is there something I need? Oblation set. Oh no, I wanted to. It's a key item. A set of incenses, candles and flowers, used in religious ceremonies. Oh. oh. Oh, no, not you. Just gonna... Just gonna gun it down. Not gonna bother with you guys up there. That was a good scare as well. This is what I mean. This game just nails it. It just nails it. That That's what it is. Or what it does, I guess. Oh. One of these... Hello. One of these... I knew it. Ah, ah, that has a piece of paper. Oh, hello. Are you Demon Jesus? You look kind of like Demon Jesus. Okay, wait a second. I'm gonna check the other stalls first. I'm gonna go to Demon Jesus. Oh, you're a lady. Record on Wesley Temple, June 1st, 2001. 10th day of the waning moon of the 7th lunar month. There was a heavy downpour last night. I looked out and saw lightning flashes illuminating the sky. Suddenly, there was a sound like an explosion. When the morning came, I went out to see what had happened. The pagoda had been struck by lightning. It was heavily damaged and debris laying all around. As I surveyed the scene, I realized the metal crest of the pagoda was... Sorry, that deburp here right in the middle of this? <coughs> I realized that the metal crest of the pagoda was gone. Some of the temple boys believed it could have been that old man, Oom. As they saw him wandering around the door at dawn, he must have taken it as a holy item. The metal used to create the crest was one of the Nona metal irons. It can be melted to forge a Buddha amulet. I didn't actually care much about the missing crest. I was just thinking about how Oom had committed a sin by stealing the crest from the temple. This is so creepy. I was expecting that to jump scare me, like... Like, completely. I was 100% sure when I would look up I would be jump scared. Wait... Oh, pff, pff, that kind of peed me there for a second. <laughs> Okay, I hope the Jesus Jesus woman or whatever isn't... You know, I'm just going to close that off. Uh, isn't going to come haunt me for the rest of my life. Because in these hallways, I still can't fight. Hello. 
I'm not here yet. Not there yet. Could you please shut up? Shut up. Thank you very much. I'm not done yet. Oh, this is so easy to get turned around in here. Oh, this is not good. Is this like an unending hallway? Is this what's happening here? It is. It's gonna open up every door. I don't care. If you're currently pooping and in this bathroom, A, you need help. B, why? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Stuck. Wait a minute. I saw that before. Is there another bathroom with a Jesus lady? That opened ominously slow. That as well. Fuck you, stop making that sound. It creeps me out. God damn it. I s That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Now I know. Is it you, lady? Be fooled by your bullshittery. Can open all the doors all day long, lady. Oh, they're not only open doors now. Just gonna. <sighs> okay, I scared myself. I wanted to turn around and throw my face, and then I made a sound and I scared myself. That's pretty stupid. I know. So wait, am I supposed to... So now all the doors are open. Where is the one with the... Here. Let me just close that off. Squat a poop here. And then go back out. Well, apparently it did... Dick diddly. Oh no... What has happened? Excuse me? Just gonna go. Just, just gonna go. Not even gonna bother with you, lady. I don't know what happened to you here. I hope you can rest after I'm done. I didn't meant to disturb you. Stop breathing down my neck. Hmm. Oh, here you are. Hello. Hello, honey. Just gonna close that door real quick. Hello. How are we doing? We need to talk about our problems. Sorry, I just wanted to try if I can exercise you with the weird nail I have from the priest. Um, okay. Haven't seen anything else thus far, apart from the... I heard that. What was that? I doubt that this that I'm supposed to walk all this way. Hello? Oh, shit! Fuck you. Okay, I'm supposed to run. I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Oh, fuck you. I just wanted... I just was about to say uh, an, an indicator would be nice if I'm supposed to walk this way or not. Apparently, I am. Apparently, I am supposed to walk this way. Where's the Jesus lady again? 
The thing is if I the thing is if I triggered it somehow. Oh thank goodness. Oh thank oh fucking a rooster? Or a cock. A lobster. Crab. A cancer. Another cock. So many cocks in this game. A fish. Oh, that was something from here. Another fish. Oh, I understand what this is. So you... You... Oh, shit, you're a lobster. Right. Then you and you, your fishes. You and you are the cocks of this group. You are the lobster. And you are the tigers. Oddly looking tigers, but tigers. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna... Oh, no, this. Oh, shit! Oh, f sorry, sir. You got fucking hell. Sorry, sir. Sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your daily dose of pooping. Oh, God damn it! I was expecting that in the beginning, not now. Again, very good use. Very good use of a jump scare. It isn't too loud. They can all suck my grundle if they want to. Come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Why are you making that sound? Oh, hello, sir. Can I? Oh. Well. That's bad. I'm dead. And the engine crashed. Close without sending. Okay, <laughs> give me a second. I'm gonna be back in there in no time. And depending on where I am, I will either continue or not. So, we'll see. Hmm. Come on. Home sweet home. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me I'm... At the thing again. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Wait, wait. Stop doing that. What are you? That dude will kill me if I touch him. Oh, is this a pagoda? Second precept. Abst abstention from theft. Last part of the caretaker's note. July 5th, 2001. Rest in peace, Um, you poor soul. You lived in the temple from when you were young until your very last day. No one ever got to know the truth about whether you really took the crest, except me. July 7th, 2001. I tried digging along the base of the pagoda. Could it be deeper? That's impossible. If I dig any deeper, the entire pagoda could fall. I'm the only one who knows the truth. Before Um died, he confessed to me that he was... That he really was the one who took the crest. He meant to melt it and forge it into some kind of amulet. When he got sick, he buried the crest at the base of the pagoda. Even though he confessed it to me, I don't believe he wanted me to have the crest. He said that he didn't get a chance to use it when he lived, so he would take it to the land of the dead with him. Where did he bury it? Did he put a spell on it to keep pe people from finding it? Okay, as long as this guy is just staying there, I'm fine. Can I go in? No, it's just a... A nice looking thing. Okay. This isn't the pagoda. Okay. Let's just continue. Oh, hello! Oh, they nearly stumped on me, mister. God damn it, that's a good scare. Oh, this is the pagoda. Wait. W w wait a second. Isn't this... Is there something on here now? Oh no, that's not the same pagoda. Ok. 
Okay, I'm not gonna cut those. Just gonna... I don't know what is written there, so... Oh, this is open. Oh, it's broken open also. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh, no, wait. This is the shrine, isn't it? Yeah. I'm missing something, though. The crest, right? Oh, wait. Did I have the crest? No, find the broken pagoda crest. Yeah. What is this? No. No, wait, this is different. It's the same pagoda. I heard footsteps, but this is not the same. Oh, here's the same place. Okay. So, I'm gonna go and end the episode here. Next time we will look for the crest. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. My name is Sleepy. And I hope you have a good night.